Welcome to Rapid Fire Reviews. Today, we're going to be discussing a firearm that needs no introduction, the M1911. Before we get started, please feel free to like the video if you find this informative, subscribe if you enjoy my content, and hit that bell notification if you want to be alerted when I upload. The 1911 is my favorite firearm. This will be a biased review, as I am simply unable to remove my emotions from the discussion. That's not to say it's without its flaws. The 1911 was created more than 100 years ago, and times have changed. Wonder Nines and tactical Tupperware have completely taken over the market, and for good reason. But there is something about the 1911 that makes it immune to time. Let's have a history lesson on the 1911. The 1911 handgun was designed by John Browning in 1909 and was adopted by the U.S. military in 1911, hence its name. It was originally designed to replace the 38 caliber revolver that was in use by the U.S. Armed Forces at the time, which was considered to be underpowered and inadequate for military use. The 1911 was and is chambered in 45 ACP, or automatic Colt pistol, and featured a 7-round magazine, 8-round later on, and it is a single-action semi-automatic handgun that uses short recoil operation to fire. The 1911 was used extensively by the U.S. military during World War I, II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, as well as almost any conflict now and likely into the future. You heard that right. The 1911 has been the primary sidearm of the United States until the adoption of the M9 in 1986, but remained as a favorite among special forces units and law enforcement agencies even today. So why has the 1911 been relevant for so long? Truly, people must be insane to trust the platform after over a century of service. Well, the 1911, even after so long, still outperforms many other platforms. Let's discuss what those reasons are. First of all, and arguably the most important feature, the ergonomics. Many would say the ergonomics of the platform are perfect. I'm in this camp of people. The slight 18 degree angle lends to a extremely shootable platform. When the handgun was originally designed, it was designed to be held with one hand. In the picture on screen, you'll see the 1911 being one handed while the support hand covers the vitals. The grip angle really does make the 1911 feel like an extension of your hand due to how naturally it points. The grips on the 1911 also press and can be modified to fit your hand, uh, and they press into the palm of your hand to create a very stable platform. Lastly, the fact that the firearm is a single stack, which means all the rounds in the magazine are lined on top of each other rather than staggered. This means the firearm is thinner than the likes of Glock or Sig, and this can, of course, aid in concealability, depending on your hand size and the firearm size, but... Overall, it makes the firearm much more comfortable to hold. The next reason why the 1911 is so popular today, the elephant in the room, the trigger. It's not hyperbole to say the 1911 trigger may be the greatest trigger on the market. Due to the straight inline trigger pull, the 1911 is able to have an extremely crisp tactile trigger. This can be lightened, made heavier, made longer or shorter, depending on your hand, and has been described by many as breaking a glass rod. It's no exaggeration to say the 1911 trigger is likely the reason competitive shooters and novices alike continue to purchase 1911s. That and one more reason we'll discuss later. In the competitive scene, where seconds can mean the difference between first and last, except no substitute. The third and final reason I wanted to discuss today is going to be difficult to explain. I wanted to start this section off by showing you some images.
So what did you see? Or more importantly, what did you feel by those images? The 1911 is a work of art to many. I showed you the above images because I can't tell you how to feel about the 1911. That is only up to you to decide. To myself, I consider it the most aesthetically pleasing weapon ever created. There is no doubt in my mind that the looks of the 1911 has kept it relevant into the 21st century. Where there was wood, there is now plastic. Where there was brushed and beautiful blued steel, there is now Cerakote and DLC coatings. That's not to say one is better than the other. Polymer pistols are the future in many ways. They are lighter. They have a higher capacity than the standard 1911. They can be just as accurate with enough training. They are more modular in some ways. More importantly, they're cheaper. But if you're... ...is not only to protect those you care about, but also have a connection to the tool by which you do so, the 1911 may be right for you. I wanted to end this video a little differently. I asked an AI to make me a poem about the 1911, and this is what it created. In steel and brass it stands so bold, a legend that will never grow old. The 1911, a gun so fine, a symbol of power, strength, and design. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.